Hello, this is Steve Powers. Today I'm going to show you how to change the speed of a video uh, in Blender using their Blender's video sequencing editor. Um, the, changing the video can uh, be useful in a couple uh, different ways, uh, primarily with video tutorials or uh, live footage of um, painting or sketching or what have you for art. Um, it's quite boring to actually see it in real time. So uh, uh, most um, instructors uh, speed up their uh, tutorials so it's uh, a bit more manageable and a bit more interesting uh, to the students. Uh, definitely far more informative to uh, the viewers. Um, but you can also uh, adjust it or um, change the speed of live footage too. Uh, usually to um, add a little bit of a comedic um, interest. In this case, I am going to use a uh, video of a snowball fight to do just that. So, um, first off, actually, let's uh, find the uh, video. Check out the uh, properties of the video. And it uh, has a 640 by, 48, uh, 640 by 480 resolution at 30 frames per second. Okay. Go back into Blender and we'll add a movie. And we'll add that video. We're going to get rid of the um, audio since we don't need it. Uh, transforms, uh, any kind of transforms do not apply to um, audio, by the way. Grab this and we'll bring it over to frame one. I'm going to control C to copy uh, the full frames of this clip and uh, adjust our end frame uh, in Blender. Uh, we're going to change our resolution here to a 460 by 480. Um, and I want to see 100% uh, of it. Okay, and change this to our frame rate. All right. Let's go back to frame run. Bring this up here. And now, um, what we have here is just that. Um, the video is imported. And uh, let's do a little quick save here in case uh, what we do crashes everything. So now we want to add the effect strip, which is speed control. And to adjust the speed of uh, any video, it's the speed multiplier. You can see that it actually tells you the resulting speed after the speed factor. Okay, what that means is one times whatever this number is. So I want to go four times, I'll put in a four. Uh, it's uh, rather that simple. Okay, and what we're going to do here, uh, let's adjust our settings. Our output folder is going to... Um, go to the temp folder on the C drive. I'll overwrite uh, the different attempts and change the image format to a movie um, format and change the bit rate to about 500 down from the uh, default 6,000 kilobits a second. Far too much for a uh, video of this resolution. Again, do another quick save. And uh, we can do a, uh, a play. Let's um, first though, I want to see the entire video sequence. Since it's 8,000 frames, uh, its uh, default is only going to show you the first 250. Now you can see uh, the end frame is over here as well. Okay, now you can see that it's sped up in the view here, and um, they run around uh, having fun, doing all that good stuff. And I'm glad I was on the video and not in the snow getting cold. <laughs> all right, hold on a second. Pause that, go back to frame one. And now to um, animate this out, we would just hit animation. I'm not going to do that. There's no real need to for this tutorial. Um, but those are the settings I would use. And um, it shouldn't take long for 8,000 frames uh, at a 640 by 480 resolution. Uh, but um, if you want to do, uh, do this, uh, feel free to use your own video, what have you and uh, play around uh, with the, the different speeds. You can uh, slow it down if I uh, see something you want to make silly or you want to um, you need to adjust it. My, it will take minute changes. So hopefully this uh, helps and uh, you can put it to use. Well, you have a good day. Thank you.